internship at UVA. I feel like I haven't filmed anything, so I figured I'd get the camera out. <clears throat> right now it's about like 5.30 in the morning. About to go on this 25 minute easy run, and then right after that we'll hit up like a 45 minute lift in the gym. So I just started this new training plan using the math tone method, which is 180 minus your age, you find your max heart rate, and this just used to build your aerobic base. You can eventually be able to run farther, longer distances, faster, without ex without like increasing your energy expenditure. Um, for me this morning I was running about 150 average heart rate throughout the entire run. It's pretty good for me, but. I won't even tell you my pace because you have to back up so far to keep that under. But um, but yeah, you just got to go out and do it. All right, so now I'm at work. Let's finish up doing some data mining. Um, uh, now I've got to go edit a video real quick. Finish that up. I've been working on it for like a week now, so it's about time I finish it up. Um, then I'm going to move on to some analytics that focus on what we did well this past event last night and then see what we can kind of improve upon for next week's event with just some making some strategic decisions and figuring that all out. So let's get to it. So it's currently like 6 in the morning right now. Uh, just finished up a three mile run. I'll tell you, it's Tuesday right now. I had work yesterday. I worked from 3 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. Tired as hell, hit snooze like a hundred times this morning, but you know, I had to get it in, had to get it in. So now we're about to get ready for work. Today I'm working from like 8.30 to, to about 4, 4.30ish, whatever. And I'm just gonna get after it. I work, got some like analytical stuff we got to deal with. Um, edit some photos from last night and make a post about that. So, so yeah, it's gonna be a good day. Gotta go grocery shopping a little bit, get some more, get some more bison, um, get some more greens, so that we're ready and fueled for the rest of this week. Got a little bunch of runs coming, so we'll get after it. Alright, so here's some motivation for you this morning. It's like 5.15 in the morning right now. And I was listening to a podcast with Nick Bear and Cam Haynes yesterday. And they were talking about how everyone always goes, why don't you get sleep? You need your sleep. You need your rest. And that was just reminding me of these past two years where I've had so many people ask me why. Like, why do I wake up early? when I get out of class at like 9.30 at night and have to stay up till 10.30 or 11.30 doing work and then gotta wake up at 3.45 in the morning, like, why do you do it? Like, you need your sleep. I don't know. I just like think, if you don't work out a lot or you don't get good grades or you're one of the people who like says you can barely fit in a 15 minute workout into your day because you got kids, because you got this and that or you got work all day, it's like, then you gotta push harder. You gotta work harder before you can say you deserve your rest. And that's just how I live my life. Like, I'm gonna give it my all before I serve an eight hour night's rest. Like, I'm going, if I have like homework to do or like I say I'm gonna get this thing done, I'm gonna stay up till like 2 a.m. or like late 
if I gotta get it done. That's just what I'm about. That's just me. I think a lot of my drive comes from never really being the most athletic athlete in sports or, or always having to work extra hard than the next person when it comes to school, whatever it may be. So, and that's what I carry on to my life today because that's just what I do now because I want to achieve greatness and I've never, I've never accepted complacency. thing I'm starting to do again is pull-ups. I went from being able to do like three sets of eight with a 45 pound plate on me to so barely doing three sets of eight right now with nothing. So we're getting it. So here's my dinner. I've got some ground beef and some some uh, spinach. I've got the ground beef seasoned with some Himalayan sea salt, ground pepper, and some cayenne pepper, and then that's it. One of my favorite quotes is, the wolf climbing the hill is always hungrier than the wolf on top of the hill. And I've used that as like drive and motivation throughout all the milestones and achievements I've had in my life. Worked up a good sweat though. Honestly, I feel like the slower you run, the more of a toll it takes in your body. And so like my knees are hurting from that run where it's like if I run that same thing in like, I don't know, like an eight minute pace, it's like I'm done. Like, I don't know, my, I just don't know, like my legs don't feel as bad if I run that like at an eight minute pace, so. But yeah, still a good run, good workout. I'm about to finish up with a couple sprints though. Okay, so it's like 2.30 p.m. right now. I just had some lunch. I ate some 90% lean ground bison with a side of kale. Um, and just for anybody who, who watched my video on how to eat, how I'm like starting to eat healthy again, in that three month span since then, I've lost 15 to 17 pounds, something like that. I'm sitting at like 205 right now. And I'm trying to get down to 195, 200. And so I've got to lose like five, 10 more pounds and just be at that consistently, hopefully. And then, yeah, so I think I'm probably going to end the vlog too. Uh, I've got to work on my certification and do some homework for the rest of the night and then go to work, work till 1030 tonight again. And then same thing, Friday is the same schedule, wake up early and then run, lift. And the same thing, Saturday, lift minus the, or run minus the lift and then start all over again next week. Gotta get after it. See y'all the next one.